Welcome back to Let the Quran Speak. Now we answer questions we've received from you, our viewers. If you have a question yourself, you can visit our website, www.quranspeaks.com. Okay, Brother Shabir, the first question is about um, the author Harun Yahya. And the question is uh, that he writes that matter is not real, it's illusory. It's illusory. Um, and what is your take on, on his perspective? Um, his perspective is a little bit strange. Uh, he has his rationale. I mean, he says that uh, what we see uh, or what we think we see actually are due to perceptions in our, in our brain. And, and we reform images in our brain based on certain visual stimuli. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, what we think we see doesn't actually have to be out there. And uh, based on this, he makes the leap to say that matter itself is quite illusory and he would support that by certain Quranic statements and so on. In my uh, understanding, however, the Quranic statements about this does not, do not mean that uh, matter is, is not in existence. Uh, uh, certainly the existence of matter is uh, taken for granted, uh, created by God. Uh, and uh, we are just warned that uh, the, this is all a passing phase. It's uh, here today, gone tomorrow. Everything will eventually be destroyed and we all go back to God and we have to reckon for our actions. So, whereas one might put one's trust in, in material things, material things are in this sense illusory in that they're not trustworthy. You cannot really depend on them. But uh, to go the further step and say that they are uh, not in existence or mm -hmm. they do not quite exist, or that they're just simply perceptions in our minds, I think is taking the, uh, the, the Quranic verses to, to, too much to one extreme. Is it here. Islamically incorrect though to say this? It's quite unusual to put it in this way. Uh, usually the promises of God regarding even the bounties of this world uh, are there in the Quran. So if one says that uh, this is illusory, well then e even the promises of the bounties of God in this world would be in a sense illusory. So. Uh, I, I don't see any reason for thinking that matter is illusory. It seems that Harun Yahya is also very in, in, intent on re, 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 responding to materialism, and that has got him into that uh, way of thinking. All right, we're running out of time. Thank you, Brother Shabir. Welcome. That's all the time we have. You can visit our website, www.quranspeaks.com. I'm Sophia Ali. For all of us here at Let the Quran Speak, thank you for watching. I'll see you next week.